Huawei is relatively well known for shoving lots of features into its phone software, sometimes making things a little confusing. If you've recently bought a P20 or P20 Pro, you'll want to do a little digging in the settings menu. But to get you started, we've put together some things we found useful. I'm Cam Bunton from Pocketlint, and this is our handy tips and tricks guide for your brand new P20. First up is Notch Off. Perhaps the one sticking point, if there is one, on the P20 is the notch at the top of the display. Being a piece of hardware, you obviously can't get rid of it, but you can hide it. Go to Settings, Display, Notch, and select Hide Notch. Now you get a black bar across the top of the screen, camouflaging the so-called notch. Number two is bringing back the app drawer. Now, Huawei's EMUI software by default likes to go a bit iPhone, splattering your app icons all across your home screens. To bring back a more conventional Android app drawer, head to Settings, Display, and tap Home Screen Style. Choose Draw. Now you have an app drawer. Next up is Natural Tone on the display. One of the newer screen features is called Natural Tone. It works similar to Apple's True Tone experience using ambient light sensors to adjust the white balance of the display, making it more paper-like. To switch it on, stay in the display settings and tap Color and Eye Comfort. Now toggle Natural Tone and you should see it shift slightly in balance. Number four is changing navigation controls. Now Huawei offers four different ways to control your experience. You can have the default Android back, home and recent app buttons on the screen if you want, or you can head to Settings, System, System Navigation and choose one of the other three. Choose the off-screen option to use only your fingerprint sensor, and with this option you can tap the button to go back, long press to go home and swipe to access your recent apps. Next up is along a similar theme and it's changing your virtual button order. Now in this same menu, tap Settings beneath the Virtual Navigation Bar option. And now you can choose between four different navigation combination options. You can choose to have the back and recent apps buttons switched around, or even have a button that drops down your notification and quick settings panel. Of course, you can have the navigation bar hidden as well if you want to, and then only bring it up when you need it. Number six is activating simple mode. Now, if you find modern smartphone interfaces a little messy and complicated, go to settings, system, simple mode, and hit apply. Now you get really big, simple graphics. Next up is the app lock. Now with app lock, you can protect individual apps, locking them behind a pin, pattern, or fingerprint scan. Head to settings, security and privacy, and then scroll down to app lock. Activate it and then choose which apps you want to protect. Now head back to the security and privacy menu and go to fingerprint ID. Toggle the access app lock switch to the on position and then input your pattern or pin. Now any apps you've chosen will be locked behind a fingerprint scan. Number eight is twin apps. And like many other modern Android phones, you can create clones of particular apps, which is really useful if you have work and personal accounts for them. Go to Settings, Apps and Notifications, and then select App Twin. Any compatible apps will show up in a list, and you can just enable whichever ones you want to create twins of them. Number nine is getting notifications to light up your screen. Now, unlike the P20 Pro, the P20 doesn't have the option to have an always-on ambient display. So if you want your notifications to wake up your phone so that you actually see them, head to Settings, Apps and Notifications, and then Notifications and Status Bar. Now just toggle on the Notification Turn On Screen option, and every time a notification comes through and your phone is off, your screen will light up. Lastly, Schedule On Off Times. Now if you have a fairly set schedule, you might want to consider scheduling the times your phone switches on and off on its own. Head to Settings, Smart Assistants, Schedule Power On Off, and choose when you want the phone to come on and power down, and then set any schedules that you want, whether that be based on time of day or days of the week. Those are just 10 useful things you can try, but believe me, there are many, many more. We'll have a full in-depth written tips and tricks live on PocketLint soon. Stay tuned for that. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to see more like it, subscribe to our channel. I've been Cam Bunton, and I'll see you again soon.